fans of rapper Vector are about to see him in a whole lot more movies as he reveals to us in an exclusive interview that a third lead role is already in the bag. He also tells us why he would still love to collaborate with rapper M.I. despite the bad blood. Do watch this. It is my wedding! It is not your wedding, it is our wedding! Two-time lyricist on a roll, Vector is set to make more appearances in the movie side of entertainment as the King Kong crooner reveals he now has a third offer as lead actor in the kitty. I guess mine is making sure that every... This follows his feature in Desmond Elliott directed romantic comedy June and forthcoming Biel Alabi production, Lara and the Beat. I, let's just say we have another lead role in the works right now and I'm like... Yeah, but because the stress of like you can't take it away from the actors. They are they are like I respect them more now than I usually would because it's it's a lot. It's a lot. Like they'll tell you to cry because somebody wrote script somewhere in his house eating food, writes it too, and she cries. She passionately cries, and I'm like, okay, you written your own. I'll be now. That's it. So I need you to passionately cry, and the actors have to bring that to the table. Awesome. Vector's adventure into the world of acting in the movie June was not pre-planned. The success of his character Diwali, a groom-to-be who runs away from the altar after falling in love with a wedding planner, depended on a crash course by seasoned actors who were on set. Let's just say we ran out of fuel in the air. I had a crash course. <laughs> like um, Desmond Elliott tried a lot. He made sure I was. Um, you come and say, I need you. <laughs> I need you to look into her eyes and mean it. I mean, I'm like, okay. And it's supposed to be love. And I'm like, wait, how am I supposed to love you? I really not love you, like in reality. But yeah, um, they they try to make sure I got the hang of it. And especially the kiss scenes. Apparently, the, apparently there's a way you kiss on set that is not the same in reality. I'll never know. But yeah, so they helped me through it. It was pretty much learning whilst you shot. So, and I also had to learn improvising as well. So, excuse me, you're there and checking script and you're like, okay, this doesn't sound right. In between that too, so I need you to say it the right way, but I need you to also give it the look. And I'm like, but you know that actors, like they, they deserve all the respect that they, sh that they deserve, that they should get, that they're not getting, are the ones that all of them together, the one they're not getting, the one that they're getting, heighten it to a hundred more and give it to them because it's hard to make somebody cry when they don't, when they're not sad, just because it's in the script. You are so incompetent. Excuse me. I paid her for a service and she hasn't done it. I apologize. I can take so they don't. I know. I can't. I can't. Get out! In Lara and the Beat, which he plays alongside fellow entertainer Shayu Shea, Vector plays a character that is close to home. It's weird because um, we've had like a relationship before the movie, and. Um, is weird further or further weird that our relationship is similar to the roles we played. Like we're both music enthusiasts. We both love music. Um, however, I'm the philosophy guy. I'm the make something simple look so complex type of guy. And I mean, she's just pure talent and raw energy as well. So when you bring pure talent and raw energy into my type of personality, it always works out, music speaking. So that's how I felt, at least. It may be something different for somebody else, but for me, I felt like it was a typical us relationship before the movie, and it just made sense. If you know, know my story, oh yeah, shut your mouth. But if they know where you're going, Music remains his strongest passion, following a social media row with M.I. over the delay in collaborating. Fans of both talented actors are anxious to see them get into the studio box together, despite the bad blood. Vector says such collaboration would be historical. Let me make this clear right now. Any, any form of history that must be made, I'm open to. Um, and that's just genuine fact. Like, B M I B. I've recorded with Mode Nine, one rapper a lot of people don't want to record with. Twice. Did a jury second time, but it's fine. <laughs> like that's it. We shouldn't take it personal. It's art. Um, I I will record with 
anybody that I feel like recording. And, and well, in this case, M have, happens to be one of the persons that I'm sure like we'll probably be able to make great art together. Um, bull crap aside, making art together. So yeah, it probably would happen. It probably would happen. If it's happened tomorrow, I'm game. If it's happened right now, I'm game. If it's happened next year, I'm game. It's art. It'll never, it'll never die. So whatever is time for it to happen, yeah. Rose Royce no be met with a cura. Plenty money la fe ba ba ba. With his mind focused on making great arts, Vector has now chosen to respond to a higher cause in creating music that embraces social issues instead of supremacy battles which rappers are usually involved in. The next project is named after my late dad, Teslim, but then it's become an acronym to mean the energy still lives in me. And that's pretty much it. Um, my mind state right now is not making music for myself or that whole rap lyrical supremacy bout is, like I said, art is art. If you know art doesn't expire, the noise would not be required. Like it's, 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 it's a norm. So, but as for police brutality, it still is a problem. Like it's weird because of a billion Nigerians, well, okay, of a lot of Nigerians, I'm that guy who has experienced some form of small police level twice in America. It's weird, right? Like we're on the highway going home and because the driver is a white guy, you know, so like I've been approached. And I call the catch now, you want my hands in the air? Of course my hands will shake. Like I don't understand. Like, of course I'd be a little feverish. It's very cold. And in your head, oh, I must be hiding something. And and you leave the like the doors open and it's cold, but then I can't put my hands in my pockets because then you may think I'm reaching for a weapon. It's funny how as Nigerians we choose to ignore a lot of people think I beg that's not a that's not our business, right? So knowing all those things can happen to me, a random Nigerian in America, twice. Once on my way to Harrisburg, the other time at the train station in Boston. Yeah. My mind state is there. I'm reminded every time because I remember vividly in America, I was like, I know where this story is going and I won't do it. So I'm still on that level here. I'm still very concerned about people that just, that they just treat like they're rats and they just kill them. It doesn't make sense. You, it doesn't make sense. Um, are we going to, at intervals, speak about it? Yes. Um, so it's that state of mind.